Howdy, this is Michael Good from Repatrades.com with your Q&A. Saturday morning mailbag today on the 20th of February. A few questions today. I'll start with the easiest one. Okay, uh, do I pay attention to the overall market and does that affect the stocks that I trade? Yeah, I do pay attention to the overall market. If you see my trade recaps, you always see SPY, the S&P 500 uh, exchange traded fund right here at the top just so I can track what the market's doing and uh, it matters uh, especially for the least volatile plays NASDAQ breakouts uh, whether they're on earnings or something if they're not up a hundred percent or more in a day or fifty percent or more in a day then yeah they are going to be affected by the overall market so especially if the markets say more than 1% in the red for the day, then that's going to make it a lot harder for stocks to break out. Pump and dumps, it doesn't matter at all, really. Uh, but on the other hand, what matters is the overall market for pump and dumps. Recently, that's not been doing so well. Uh, ISPI, ISPI, uh, was a pump I played uh, on the long side at the beginning of this week, and it did not last very long, long before dumping. And uh, the thing is, it's been like that for a lot of other pumps too. So there's a market for pump and dumps that's completely, that's really separate from the market uh, for normal stocks. So if you're playing on those, then you need to uh, uh, look at how those have done recently. Uh, on the other hand, there's also, you've got your big uh, listed stocks that run uh, for whatever reason hype uh, like something that goes up a few hundred percent in a couple days those are not going to be tied uh, to much of anything except whatever hype or news is making them run so yeah so I pay attention to the market it uh, doesn't affect most of my trading though another question this is about ISPI long this is a good question uh, the disclaimer stated uh, that they were actually compensated, uh, I think, 2.8 million shares uh, to pump this stock. Uh, so what happens when I look at the daily volume and it's over uh, over that over 4 million shares? Uh, do you think that it'll be a, a weak pump or something? Uh, really, it doesn't have that much to do with it. There's a couple ways that pumpers can do things, and let me bring out my ISPI chart again. So. Oh, come on, show up, please. Okay, here we go. So the pumper was compensated 2.8 million shares, and uh, it, it traded a bunch more than that. If the pumper were to sell directly into the pump, like let's say they get 2.8 million shares, and they just have a general disclaimer saying we may sell our shares whenever we may own shares we may buy shares we may trade shares if they sell directly into the pump consistently that is almost certainly illegal now uh, pump and numbers operate very close to the edge of what is legal and illegal uh, but the SEC was very clear uh, in the case uh, of Nicholas A. Xuko uh, of the stockster.com um, that one of the things he did wrong is that his disclaimer was general. He said, we may buy or sell shares at any time, but he consistently bought right before he pumped and sold into the pump. So uh, if a, a stock promoter were to get paid shares and then to always sell directly into the pump, then that would be uh, illegal. So if they want to remain legal, what they have to do is wait at least uh, a bit before selling. Uh, but of course also they're going to get selling into the pump of whoever's paying for the pump. So yeah, you're going to have lots of volume and the, you can't really compare the amount that they've been compensated in shares to the daily volume. That's not really uh, related. Uh, so yeah, that doesn't really tell you much. But uh, it, it's good to know how much they were compensated and uh, you know, how much actual volume you're getting, too. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, maybe I'll do another one. Sure, I will. Uh, check me out next time, reapertrades.com. Send any questions to michael at reapertrades.com. Thanks.